my name is Gloria and I'm a graphic designer living in South Korea. So today I'm going to be doing another design challenge, which means that I'm going to be trying to create an entire brand within two hours. This means the branding from fonts to logos to a brand board to maybe social media mockups, those are optional if I have time. So without further ado, let's get started. Today's brief has come to us through the Glow and Grow Club at Instagram where they provide many different kinds of briefs and we are going to be making a bubblegum brand called Bubble Yum. Like I said, this is a challenge, so our time starts now. Two hours. First thing I'm going to do is go into Pinterest and try to find a couple of brands that I think I like the style of. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I'm really liking it. I like how the font is circular, it reminds me of the bubbles in bubblegum. I also think it's very fun. Um, a lot of the people who eat bubblegum are children. Like, I used to try and blow bubbles all the time when I was young, so I kind of like to emulate some of that feeling in my logo and branding. I love this because it is so bright and fun colored and I think this kind of illustration style would work really well on a modern gum brand. Okay, so we have an inspiration board and here is my game plan. I would like to recreate some of these kind of shapes in my logo. Something that gives you the feeling of chewing gum, maybe having it stick in between your teeth and pulling strings or like when kids play with it and they stretch it like this and it creates little strings or when you're trying to blow a bubble and it pops or just some sort of movement that comes with chewing gum. So I am going to start brainstorming and drafting up some ideas for logos. going to pick a font from Adobe Fonts. <gasps> mm, I like this one. So I'm going to pick this one and activate it. Bura. Next one is called Embryo, which is so fun. It looks like a comic book font. I'm definitely gonna work with this one as well. Yeah, this is very, very fun. I will have to make both of these. Third one is called No Fun. It is fun. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is this font. But I also think this one is very, very fun and has a lot of personality. So maybe we're gonna play around with this one too. I might blow it up and make it more circular. I don't know. No. And the next one is called Sintenesque, which, mm, this looks very good and kind of vintage and a little bit like it's gonna be perfect. So we will, oh my gosh, I know this guy. Ray. Every time I do a design challenge, I pick a font by this guy. Please go and follow him. He makes a lot of fonts and he should be rewarded for his hard work and he takes beautiful photos. So shout out to Ray who was also there for me when I made my dog food brand font. So shout out to Ray, who was always there for me. God bless, thank you. Okay, so Synthemisk. Let's activate that one too. Oh my gosh, I only have an hour and 27 minutes, I'm dying. The last one is quite literally called Bubblegum Pop, and to me, that feels a little bit too easy, so we are not gonna pick this one. Just kidding, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna open up our Illustrator document and start playing around with this. Okay, now that I have my Illustrator file open, I'm gonna put all of the fonts side by side and look at them and see which ones I wanna start messing around with.
Hula bat. So fun, isn't it? Ray, my man, I love it. I don't have to do any work. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, taking a look at these fonts. There are a few that are immediately popping out to me. I'm looking at this one, I think it's maybe too rigid. So I think I would use it for um, subheaders or headers. This one is so fun. I really love this one. I love the silhouette. I think this is so fun. I think I'm probably leaning towards this one. This one is giving Hollywood sign. Here, let's fix it. Perfect. Um, this one is amazing, so I love it. And maybe this one is too robotic, so I think I'm gonna go with a capital letter because it's fun and it's cool. And either this one or this one, so I don't know whether to rock, paper, scissors and see which one to go with, but I just love how fun this is. I think I might go with the top one. Sorry, Ray. It looks like there's already all of the work is done here for me, so. But this looks, it's so, like, this looks like a little you feel up. Okay, let's see. So this one is called Embryo. I'm gonna make a copy and I'm gonna begin to play around with it. So I'm gonna outline it and I will make some shapes with it. Um, what does the uvula look like? It's like this. Ah, uh, I did not know you could do this. I wonder if I can make some cool shapes and have those be like reoccurring. I like it because it reminds me of like pieces of gum too. Like let's take a look. What does gum look like? Gum piece. Yeah, just like that, you know. Okay, so I think I'm happy with how this turned out. This is going to be the logo for Bubble Yum. I'm gonna take some colors from the Pinterest board that I created and start to think about the branding, illustrations, and all of that other fun stuff. Bubble yum! Okay, 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 okay. And we don't have time for this. So let's make our color palette. Ah, oh, why is there no pink? More pink color. I'm living for this. This is really fun. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we are gonna make all of the rest of the marketing deliverables, the packaging and branding. I only have an hour and 13 minutes left. So please excuse me while I am busy getting into the zone. Oh my god. It looks like boobs. It's okay, we're gonna keep going with it. Ah, oh, should I? Guys, does this look like boobs? How come nobody told me this looks like boobs? All I see is boobs. Maybe it's a me problem. That's nah, okay. Oh 
my god. What have I been doing with all this time? I found the perfect packaging. So, let's get the dimensions of this. So I think, you know, as per usual, I will do three flavors. We are gonna bring this back in because I made some changes. And play around here. Love a big artboard. Bubble Yum. Okay, got our colors. Can I add these all to my swatches panel that we like this? Okay, I'm gonna quickly do some illustrations on my iPad. <laughs> Grape. How much time do I have? 38 minutes. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to try to do something like this too. I really like how he, this person did that. Okay, we have 20 minutes left, so I'm gonna put this into a mock-up and see what it looks like. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Hmm, maybe it's too busy for me. Okay, let's try just that. Ah! Okay, 14 minutes left, it's crunch time. I'm just gonna make a few extra edits and put some random text here. What's it gonna say? It's gonna say sugar Um. Gum that's good for your soul, okay? Okay, 
Okay, I have 10 minutes left, so this is not going the way that I intended it to, but I think I'm finished with the packaging. So, well, one of the packagings anyways. So I'm gonna put this into a mock-up and then I'm gonna put it into my brand board and show you guys all of the stuff that I created. It's just one thing. Branding is hard, guys, it turns out. Things aren't easy, they take time. All right, and that is five minutes left. So let's see if I can just quickly complete this. Ah, one minute, oh no. Ah, I think I'm gonna fail. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, it's so bad. Okay, expert, 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 expert. That's nice, but I don't... Okay, why am I being so picky right now? I don't know. Um, I'm not sacrificing quality, though. You know what? It's okay. I will just put some colors. Wow, she's beautiful. That's what I did, okay? Timer is officially up. It didn't make any sound at all. That's a little bit alarming. <laughs> alarming, it was an alarm. But um, yeah, that's the brand that I created, Bubble Yuff. I do want to change a lot of things. It's quite fun but it's not really making my heart very happy. So this is the scope of what I can do in a two hour time frame. If I were to keep working on it, I think I would play around with the packaging design a little bit more. Something about it is just not working for me. It looks and seems a little bit amateur-ish. So I'm actually gonna keep playing around with this until I'm happy with this. So that might take another two hours, it might take another day. I don't know, but I am hungry, I'm gonna get dinner. Hi, so I worked on this for quite a while longer and I wanted to share with you guys the difference between two hours of work, aka paying or hiring a designer for really cheap, uh, does the job really quickly, doesn't really care about process or ideation, versus paying a designer with their work giving them more time to work and flesh out concepts and allow for ideations, variations, etc. can look like. So we have the packaging from the two hour challenge. It's okay. It's not something that I would put on my portfolio or that I would even want to put my name on as a designer if I'm looking for work, right? You can see that the concept is there. You can kind of get a sense of what I'm working toward, but it doesn't quite feel like a fully fleshed out concept. Versus what I have created after I've spent some time thinking about it and making ideations and doing more research, etc, etc. And now we have packaging that you could put into the stores and people might actually pick it up because it looks kind of cool and interesting. So I'm going to continue working on this packaging and this branding and make some more mock-ups to be able to visualize the brand tone and feeling and have a stronger sense of brand identity. So I will get started. So I actually created this without recording anything, so I'm going to make two other variations of packaging using the same style and the same methods that I used when I made it.
Okay, I found this stipple brush from a YouTuber and it is amazing. It has the best texture to any project. You can achieve the same thing in Procreate, but sometimes it's a bit of a pain in the butt to bring files into your iPad and then put a stipple or whatever on a piece of art and bring it back into your computer. So I'm gonna put the link for the stipple brush in the description below because it's amazing. Also, just in case you wanted to see the process from my brain to paper to computer generated to again refine computer generated illustration this is the sketch so moral of the story trust the process Okay, so this guy's a cool guy. He's just giving out the classic finger guns, you know? So I am going to bring this into a Photoshop and throw the stipple brush on there. And last time I did this, I brought this into Photoshop and I just would use the pen tool to make selections and then stipple the stipple brush on. So for example, I would go in and kind of try to guess where this part was and just take the pen tool, pretend this is Photoshop and go like this. Okay, whatever, this is bad. Make a selection and then using that selection, take the brush tool and pattern it in, which is a little bit inaccurate. So I think this time what I'm gonna do is export these two guys and some of these elements as different parts and then um, stipple using the clipping mask and multiple layers. So we will see how this turns out. into my gum packaging. Okay, that is too cute. I love him, okay? I think it's okay if he's a little smaller. Ah, oh, but I like the big too. Um, some little swooshes of that mint flav of flav. Is the second 
gum packaging done. I'm gonna do one more flavor. Because number two without three. Now that I've finished my packaging for the second time, I'm going to input those along with other brand collateral into the video and you can take a look and see the comparison between two hours of design work and more hours of design work. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos like this in the future. So stay tuned, thank you, and goodbye.